All right, Pouring Nation, today I have decided I want to do a Fiona flower, but I want to dip two canvases together and see how it comes out there so I get a matching pair. So if you're unfamiliar with the, the reverse dip techniques that Fiona does, essentially what happens is I am using Craftsmart glue. My pouring medium is three parts glue two parts water, mix that all together, then that becomes my pouring medium. Then, I, for my paints, I do one part paint, two parts pouring medium, just like I normally do. These turn out to be quite thick, which I'll show you here. Mound upon a mound, it kind of wiggles around. So that's what we're looking for in consistency. My special ingredient that Fiona uses is one part Vallejo pouring medium, or pearl medium, excuse me, one part of my glue mixture, and then one part of white paint. In this case, I'm using, in all the cases of the colors, I'm using my Montmartre acrylic color, which I did a review on last week, and I'll put in the description below and in the card above. So this is the, this is the mixture that actually makes these cool cells and lacing in this pouring technique. Uh, one thing that I did today is sometimes I'm just not in the mood to try and figure out colors. So a while back I purchased these Go Make Some Art cards from Gina DeLuca and today I decided it was the perfect time to use them because I didn't want to try and think of a color set. And I landed on her bottle bottom pour, chose these four colors, made them up with my paint that I had, so that's what we're going with. Thank you very much Gina, I love these cards. It's nice to have a quick inspiration uh, when you don't really feel like, you feel like pouring, but you don't feel like trying to figure out colors. So these are awesome. And so essentially what we're gonna do, now that I have my paints all mixed up, I have my two canvases. These are 12 by 12. That means 144 square inches plus another 24 square inches for the sides. Makes them 168 square inches. Divide that by 25, I need about six ounces of paint for each. I have more, slightly more than that because what I need to do is when you're taking two canvases like this, I'm gonna do my pour here and then I'm gonna put this right on top and smash it down. One thing I've found is if you don't put any paint or any uh, a base coat on the one that you're smashing down, sometimes the paint comes off and nothing sticks to the canvas. And we don't want that to happen. So to avoid that, I am going to start with a base on both of these, uh, these canvases. The base is just one part pouring medium, one, or two parts pouring medium, one part white. Again, the Montmartre white. And so let me do that quick and we'll be back. So next we're going to place my cup here in the middle and I'll link to this cup that I purchased in the description below also. We're just going to pour all of our colors and in between each we're going to pour a little bit of this. Fiona makes this look so easy. She gets pretty even. Outlines here and as you can see, I did not get very even outlines. But we're going to be smashing these together. So how even it is isn't going to be as important. That looks surprisingly similar.
just to make sure I'm going to put my hand all around there. And I'm going to flip this over. The same thing on this side. Back over here. Try and lift it up as straight as I can. Now this one ended up with way more paint. This one definitely, definitely didn't get near as much. Which is okay. Because I didn't have enough here, I'm just gonna fix all the corners. All right, so what did we learn here? Uh, first of all, I used too much paint. Yes, these two paintings by themselves would have needed six ounces a piece, give or take, but together, I probably only needed a total of eight ounces of paint uh, to really make this, this work. So I probably would have used much less paint on the main painting. Number two, uh, when I turned the paintings over, I should have turned them this way so that the, this painting that had all of the paint on it, you know, popped this over, flipped them over, and then from here flipped the one that had the most paint off. It would have the most paint stick to it, but that would leave the most paint on this one. That's my, that's my assumption. And then the last thing, I actually really like how the colors turned out. I like how different they are, but how similar. So you know they're a pair, but they're not a identical pair. Some of these cells that we're getting in here are just amazing. You will get some shimmer and shine from the Vallejo pouring medium, just from the pearl piece of it. We got a ton of fabulous cells here. This, they just keep growing as time goes on, which is normal to happen here. So overall, I am pleased with both these paintings and I'm excited to see how they dry. And if you want to create these beautiful blooms like this one, here is the video for you.